are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here if you are a returning subscriber god bless you for your love for your support everything that you do for me i appreciate it much i don't take you for granted guys but if it's your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and if you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends i know last video was a sad one it made you so angry <laughs> but today's video is going to be a happy ending story it's going to be a very interesting story you will learn lots lots of things as someone who is on online dating apps searching for the one my dear beautiful ladies that likes to hear the goodies <laughs> you will hear the goodies <laughs> those who likes are from cinema then it's gonna be in this beautiful online dating success love story so today you're gonna be enjoying a story time of a kenyan lady by the name of millie who found love on online dating apps with a dutch guy by the name of ronald after two years of facing lots of challenges on online dating apps so guys, as you can see, I am so, so excited because the lady who found love on online dating apps or the lady in our today's story is my own baby. <laughs> this lady is a meaning of a real fan because started following me when I had 200 subscribers. <laughs> Can you imagine? And right now I am at 20k subscribers. By the way, <laughs> you know, hours away, I didn't get time, guys, to talk to you. And I don't want to take much of your time talking things out of this story. But still, I want to take this opportunity to thank you all for your support again. Because without you, I couldn't have reached 20k subscribers. All thanks to you guys. <laughs> yes guys, Millie started following me when I had 200 subscribers and wasn't searching at that time. So that explains to why I am very happy, very excited to share with you her beautiful online success love story. So friends, you all that have been following me here on YouTube, you know I've been sharing with you online dating success love stories. My intention of sharing with you these success love stories, I've told you guys that it is to inspire you. It is to talk to any lady out there that is searching for love on online dating apps to believe that it can happen to her too. If other ladies are finding love on online dating apps, why not to you? So to give you something like a push. And you all know that I've been so friendly to you. When you present your case to me, I talk to you as a sister. I solve it as if I was the one dating that guy on online dating apps. I take things into hands. <laughs> Those who I have helped can testify to that. So there is this question I've been getting on Instagram. And sometimes I wonder, do you guys really watch these online dating success stories that I share with you carefully? Because I take my time. Guys, making a story of one hour, it's not an easy job. <laughs> but I take my time to do that so that you guys can get to understand the journey a lady passed through till she found the one so that you can relate with your own and get to understand that it's not your problem that you're facing lots of challenges on online dating apps. You are not alone. It is part of the journey. But after sharing with you these stories, long stories, again, I get questions like, I wonder how do these ladies find love on online dating apps? <laughs> Sometimes it's kind of disturbing and discouraging, but you know what? I'm not gonna give up. 
I will keep on bringing you these stories and tell you into details. So as Millie's story, we're going to be starting her love story with a little bit of her love background, her past love relationship experience. How was it like? Was she in a relationship with a Kenyan guy? And if yes, how was it like? We need to find out before we go to how she found love on online dating apps. So that you who have been asking that, how do these ladies find love on online dating apps? These ladies are so lucky. So was Millie really lucky on online dating apps? We will go to that without wasting much of your time. Let us jump into this beautiful online dating success love story that you will enjoy a lot. <laughs> So guys, let's dig a little bit deeper <laughs> into Millie's past love relationship experience. Was she in a relationship with a Kenyan guy and what pushed Millie to join online dating apps? Millie tells us, yes, she was in a love relationship before with a Kenyan guy. They were crazily in love with each other and Millie thought that that guy is going to be her future husband due to the love she felt for that guy and also thought that or believed that that guy felt the same way. But guys, Millie was wrong cause we have got an Afro cinema. So guys, Millie tells you that as the relationship kept on going, for her the relationship was okay and then one day during lunchtime at work received a message from her boyfriend. After receiving that message, had to go through that message but the content of that message really shocked her. The message elaborated how well they enjoyed time together making love. But unfortunately, that message wasn't talking about Millie. It was Millie's boyfriend with another guy. And what is more shocking, that another guy was a longtime friend of Millie's boyfriend, which means Millie's boyfriend was bisexual, was dating Millie, but at the same time dating his longtime friend. So Millie tells us after he sent that message, immediately had to call Millie because he realized he had made a mess. But Millie was so shocked, very disgusted, and had no energy to talk to him at that moment. Guys, imagine dating a guy for two years, believing that he's going to be your future husband and then come to find out he has been cheating on you and not only a simple cheating on you with another lady, but cheating on you with his friend. Millie was in a shock. As she was telling me, her story was like, poor me at that time because she really got sick due to the heartbreak that guy caused her. So after all that happened in their relationship, Millie had to end the relationship. Tells us was really in love with that guy but couldn't keep on the relationship with him and thanks God to show the nature of her boyfriend before they got married because imagine getting married to a guy and at the same time seeing another guys it's really really bad especially when you discover something like that after so many years of getting married that's why Millie thanks God and guys I told you if you know you are a believer you are a child of God he will always protect you he will always guide you he will always show you things that you couldn't have seen by yourself but through the help of God so keep on believing in God keep on praying for God's guidance because he will always guide you the right way so friends, after Millie's first relationship failing, Millie tells you that stayed four years without dating anyone cause was very, very disappointed. And then one day met this good friend of hers who told her about online dating apps cause the friend had a boyfriend 
whom she met on online dating apps. So talk to Millie about online dating apps and immediately Millie downloaded those dating apps that she recommended to her and started searching. So to my favorite question that I always ask ladies that shares their love stories with us. I asked to Millie, same, same question. Have you ever dreamt of getting married to a white man? <laughs> Millie was like, to be honest, I used to like mixed kids, but it never clicked my mind that one day I will get married to a white man. Even she remembers how her aunt used to tell her and her sister how white men do trade African ladies to Europe to abuse them sexually and then make them sleep with the dogs. So due to that tells you that that was her biggest fear to get married to a white man. <laughs> so after her telling me that, I laughed a bit and I wonder, <laughs> where is that aunt now? What is she saying? I'm really curious to know. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I am laughing, yes, but I'm not laughing that black African women are being traded to be abused. Don't get me wrong. Actually, it's something that is very, very sad. I was laughing or smiling <laughs> at the end now that the nephew is going to get married to a white man. And to avoid being traded to Europe or to any part of the world and later on find yourself in a difficult situation, you gotta be careful. When you are on online dating apps, you shouldn't be desperate. You shouldn't believe in a stranger. Because when you are chatting with these guys on online dating apps, they are strangers until you meet them in person. Get to know them on both sides. <laughs> if he comes to Africa, you make sure you go to his country too and see what's there. But even before going, of course, you have to put him on a test. You have to make sure that everything that he tells you is true. Right now there is technology. So whatever this guy tells you, go Google. Whatever this guy tells you, ask someone that maybe lives in his country or if he is in Europe, then ask someone that is in Europe what he told you if it is true because they will know <laughs> if the guy is telling the truth or is telling lies. If he is in America, same, same thing. The information is out there. Don't just believe everything and get drunk in love <laughs> with someone that has not even shown you the actions. Yeah. So guys, let's get back to the story. I asked Millie, how many dating apps did she try out before finding the right guy? Millie responded like, hey, hey, more than nine dating apps. Bella, it wasn't easy at all. Right now I am smiling, I am laughing, but at that time I wasn't able to smile or laugh due to what I went through. Cause remember guys, she stayed on online dating apps for two good years before she found the right guy. So you who has been asking me, Bella, how do these ladies find love so easily on online dating apps? Millie tells you that it wasn't easy at all. So you two who is watching this video and you're facing lots of challenges, I want to calm you down and tell you, my sister, it is part of the journey. The challenges that you are facing, your time is coming. You just need to be patient. You just need to keep on moving. Because when you give up along the way, then you won't achieve what you want to achieve, which is to find the right guy, which is to find true love. Mealy gives us two challenges that she will never forget. <laughs> that came across on online dating apps. What were those challenges? Let's find out. So Millie's first challenge on online dating apps tells us why it was on online dating apps trying to look for true love or to search for true love came across this German guy, but originally from Turkey. He was born and raised in Germany, but his parents used to work and live 
in Germany, but they were Turkish. She tells you that the guy was too good to be true because after two days of meeting on that dating app and exchanging contacts, this guy told her that wanted to come to Kenya and get to see her, get to meet her siblings, get to meet her parents, and later on get married to her. After getting married, same, same time, take her to Germany with her as a married couple. Millie was over the moon cause didn't have enough experience. <laughs> concerning online dating guys how they can play lots of games and i told you guys what kills us on online dating apps especially as black african women <laughs> when we find a guy on online dating apps then he gives you compliments then he tells you sweet sweet words immediately we start daydreaming <laughs> creating castles in the air <laughs> So Millie had started to plan for a wedding <laughs> in her head with that Turkish guy who was born and raised in Germany. And we all know that most white guys, when you tell them about the bride price, they tell you, no, this is not my culture. How can I buy you? It's like I'm buying you. <laughs> this guy, the Turkish guy living in Germany, never opposed on paying the bride price was like Millie don't worry when I come I'll pay the bride price we will do everything that your parents will ask me so that I can get married to you <laughs> so Millie tells you she got into his box <laughs> and immediately told her mom and her sisters about the good news that I've got a boyfriend. He is a German guy. <laughs> he will be coming to marry me. The sister and the mother were very, very happy about the good news. And which mother wouldn't be happy <laughs> of such kind of a news, of course. <laughs> so all was good and Millie was there in heaven <laughs> dancing with the angels for happiness, for the excitement. <laughs> Kept on chatting with this guy they could do video calls all was good 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 until we have an afro cinema <laughs> so as the communication was good one day they were doing a video call and this guy asked Millie to be naked on camera on top of that asked for nude photos Millie refused and tells you that upon refusing, she got a block. <laughs> tells you in Swahili, ni kachapwa block. <laughs> she was so heartbroken cause was already imagining how their wedding will be. Millie right now laughs and was like, aki hawawatu wachatu bella. <laughs> Ending with a smile, I smiled too cause I can relate. Online dating guys, if you are not clever enough to go with the flow, don't put things into your heart. Otherwise, you will cry every single day. <laughs> every time a guy breaks your heart, you will cry. <laughs> for no reason, guys. You don't need to cry for a guy that you meet on online dating apps. When you start chatting, everything is going good, thanks to God. But still, don't keep things at heart or don't believe this guy 100%. I believe because this is why we are so depressed right now. This is why we are very frustrated about online dating apps. Because you chat with a guy, you give him your all. <laughs> <laughs> Without knowing, you are chatting with a scammer. You are chatting with a guy who is just there to pass time. He is just enjoying just talking to you, but not really ready 
to make things serious so before you give a guy your all make sure you have seen the actions and guys the one you will know him i don't know how you cannot recognize a serious guy after going through all those challenges on online dating apps you will know him so when you know it's him then at that time give him your all so Millie's challenge number two on online dating apps tells us that met another guy but this guy was an american guy so he seemed very serious so interested in Millie, and they exchanged contacts so when they exchanged whatsapp numbers started chatting and as they were chatting decided to exchange photos <laughs> So Millie sent her photos and the guy started sending his photos. But among the photos that that guy sent to Millie, there was one photo of a black woman. So when Millie saw the photo, was shocked <laughs> and asked the guy, who is the lady? The guy was like, that is my ex-wife. Actually, she's black American. <laughs> but at the background of the photo, when Millie looked carefully, <laughs> she said in the shop and behind there were products, but that black American woman, <laughs> the products that she was selling, they were Kenyan products, which means that lady was not a black American woman, was a Kenyan lady. <laughs> Oh my god, these guys can play a lot and I told you that a photo's background can tell you a lot. When you look at the background very carefully, <laughs> you can discover something. <laughs> you too, when you're taking your photos, be very, very careful of the background. It's very, very important. It can either bring serious men or bring unserious men. And I explained this in the video that I did on how your photos should be on online dating apps, how to take your photos that you want to upload on your online dating profile so after that incident of a guy lying she asked he tried to you know <laughs> tell her oh no blah 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 but in the end the relationship ended like that so Millie kept on searching never gave up because at the same time kept watching my videos very careful became so serious in watching them because <laughs> when you go through lots of challenges that's when you be like mm, maybe i should listen to bella carefully now <laughs> so that's what Millie did as she was watching me one day i posted an online dating success love story i shared some dating apps to try and Millie decided to put things into action, downloaded the dating apps that I recommended and started searching afresh in those dating apps. I remember that was the time Millie wrote to me for the first time on Instagram because was asking me on how to use that dating app. <laughs> also told me, talk to the lady that shared her success story, tell you how should I know a guy is paying on that dating app. Later on, I came back to her, I directed her on how to know if a guy is paying on that dating app and she kept on searching. So guys, Millie kept on watching my videos, taking the tips, you know, implementing them and also kept on searching through the dating apps that I shared here on this channel. And then one day came across this dating app that I am going to be sharing with you before I end this video, cause it is where Millie found the one. So Millie tells us last year, 31st of December, got a like from a Dutch guy. And after getting his like, she also liked his profile and after liking his profile the guy wrote her a message it was just a simple hi how are you but guys as your sister who loves you so much i have to insist on something i have talked about it but maybe because sometimes i give you lots of information <laughs> you don't get it because i know some of you <laughs> you don't really take seriously 
those likes. You take seriously if a guy sends you a message, right? <laughs> Write me in the comment section below. Which one do you take seriously? Both likes and messages or only a message? <laughs> I want to know. So never ignore likes. When a guy sends you a like, go through his profile and also like his profile. That way you are sending a message to that guy that I like it too. <laughs> so he will get more energy or more push to approach you, to send you a message. Because again, guys, some men that are online dating apps, <laughs> they've got their own issues. Maybe they're those guys that they find it very hard to approach a woman. So if he gets a bit of a push, he gets more confidence, you know, to write to you. <laughs> I know right now you're smiling and be like, Bella, are we? <laughs> All these crazy guys writing to me? Yes, exist guys that are really shy to approach a woman. So please note this. Take those likes seriously. <laughs> Start liking back the likes that you get. And sometimes when you get a like from the guy, like his profile and send him a message too. That's a trick that I am teaching you today. So let's keep on with Millie's story. So guys, this Dutch guy's name is Ronald. I don't wanna be like, this Dutch guy, this Dutch guy, he has got a name. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Ronald. <laughs> so when Millie responded to Ronald, immediately Ronald asked for her WhatsApp number. Millie gave him her WhatsApp number. What are we learning here? I told you, stop complicating things. Yes, I know. It reaches a point. All your contacts on your phone are full of white guys' numbers. <laughs> you never know when the snake is pregnant. <laughs> So you gotta give it a try. When the guy asks you for a phone number, give it to him. But avoid those guys who don't want to tell you anything immediately, not even a hi. They send you their phone numbers. Those ones, you can ignore them. But a guy who starts like, hello, how are you? A guy like that, even if you tell him, can we wait a bit? <laughs> Let's talk a bit. He's gonna wait until you exchange WhatsApp numbers. There is a question I've been getting from you guys asking me, Bella, is it okay to exchange WhatsApp numbers same same day? Yes, guys, you can exchange WhatsApp numbers same same day. I've given you the tips to know if a guy is serious or not. So if you exchange your WhatsApp numbers with a guy and then he starts, you know, telling you things that are not sitting right in your head, why should you keep on wasting your time? Simply block. But you gave it a try. <laughs> okay. Another attention, guys. Avoid those men or guys. First message, hi, sexy goddess. You've got sexy boobs. I really feel like wanting to touch them. <laughs> Can we exchange WhatsApp numbers? If you exchange WhatsApp numbers with that guy, don't come to me crying <laughs> that he wasted your time because he's a player right from the start. Also, listen to your intuition. If it tells you, no, I don't feel like giving him my number, of course, do like your heart tells you. Tell a guy, wait a bit. But if your intuition tells you, go ahead and give him your WhatsApp numbers, give him your WhatsApp number, give it a try. Let's keep on with this beautiful love story. So Millie gave him her WhatsApp numbers and immediately, Ronald called her on a video call. <laughs> Millie was very, very surprised. Tells us it was the first time exchanging WhatsApp numbers with a guy and calling that same, same moment. <laughs> so they talked a bit on a video call and Ronald was in a hurry because was at the airport going back home after his vacation. So they kept on chatting, making video calls, all was good. And after three weeks, 
Ronald introduced Millie to his family. That is a sign of a good guy. You don't need to ask a guy, introduce me to your family. He should do it without being asked. And that will give you a tick. <laughs> One box tick that he is a serious guy. So guys, to what we all love to hear, not the goodies, not yet guys. <laughs> they are still in a long distance relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I asked Millie, was Ronald spoiling you while you were in a long distance relationship? Millie was like, no, he never spoiled me at all. <laughs> never sent me money, never sent me any gift. I was interested in finding true love. I kept on building our relationship. And that's a good woman. Guys, there is something that is going on. I've talked about it. You don't listen. And you know what, guys? These days, men themselves contact me both white men and black men stop asking men money you are on a line dating app to search for true love not money if a man sends you money it's okay without you asking without you tricking that guy to send you money <laughs> then that's okay but if he is not sending then don't be like all the time you're sad talking to him you're telling him problems so that he can send you money he is going to get confused if you love him for real or because you want to solve your problems millie is a good woman even if this guy never spoiled her she did not block him she did not disappear for some time she did not act weird no she kept on building their relationship so everything continued going strong their relationship getting stronger every single day and it happened that it was ronald's birthday after those two months of communicating oh my god what she did defines that she is really bella's daughter <laughs> Cause decided to surprise ronald on his birthday bought a birthday cake candles candies cooked food that she later on ate it alone because Ronald wasn't there to eat it with her but they had to cut a cake together sang for Ronald oh my god Ronald was so so surprised very very happy told her that no woman has ever surprised me on my birthday like you did so it was a plus for our sister Millie. Ronald was really, really happy over the moon. <laughs> and Millie tells you that you won't believe after three days of that surprise birthday, <laughs> cake, candies, and food, Ronald asked Millie to be his girlfriend officially. <laughs> Can you imagine, guys? What we learn from here is that men too needs to be loved and cared. Not you standing naked in front of the camera, not you sending nude photos, but show him love, show him affection, cause they really need that. And that's what they are looking for on online dating apps. I'm talking of serious guys. <laughs> So guys, yes, all was good in their long distance relationship. Now they are boyfriend and girlfriend. All is going good. And Ronald took the next step. Like I told you, if you want to know your relationship is growing, is if the guy is taking the next step. Not that you're talking same, same things years and years or months and months, but nothing is happening. When you see that, that guy only considers you as his online girlfriend things need to keep on moving not a relationship that is stagnant mark my words if you ignore that my dear sister i am sorry because later you will cry tears yes so after being boyfriend and girlfriend now ronald started talking about going to kenya to meet millie 
for the first time. That is another step that is very, very important in a relationship, especially a long distance relationship, a guy that you met on online dating apps. So when they talked on meeting, Millie came on my DM and told me about it. I was really, really happy for her, but Millie was really nervous because didn't know what to expect from him. But tells you, prayed a lot to God that let Ronald be a good person. And another thing I can add here, Millie is a prayerful woman. All the time we could chat, could tell me, Bella, put me in your prayers. Bella, let's pray about it. It was God, 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 God. I will see if I'll get some messages that we used to chat on Instagram and show them to you. Show you how this lady could mention God all the time. And really, God is good. All this happened because she believed in God and trusted in him. So yes, guys, they kept on communicating and Ronald said the date, told her that I am coming in March 2023. <laughs> you know, days run so fast. Eventually, it was time for Ronald to travel, go to Kenya. Again, Millie came on my DM to ask me for some advice and I advised her told me Bella he will be here soon and when he arrived yes Millie came back to me and told me Bella he has arrived I am super super happy brought me lots lots of gifts he is spoiling me like crazy <laughs> you see guys if you wait good things will come to you she never asked for money but when he came brought her lots lots of gifts spoiled her a lot and more is to come as i keep on with the story so yes guys it was millie's best moment ever <laughs> tells us it was the best experience ever i never thought a man can treat her like that this is good to hear but at the same time it hurts knowing how ladies are suffering in relationships, especially toxic relationships. They hurt you, they destroy you to an extent your self-esteem goes low. You start being like, maybe I am the ugliest woman on earth and no man will ever love me. No man will ever treat me right. But dear ladies, please don't let this man put you in that kind of a situation. You are beautiful the way you are. You are worthy. You deserve to be treated right and no one should tell you otherwise. So dear friends, now is that moment that most of you have been waiting for. The goodies time. <laughs> Did Millie share her goodies on the first night when Ronald arrived in Nairobi? <laughs> <laughs> no guys, Millie tells you did not share her goodies the first night, made it clear to Ronald that they should first check their health and then she will share the goodies. Ronald was okay with it, agreed and was so proud of Millie that she really cares about each other's health. So that gave Millie another plus to Ronald. And yes, that's what they did. Went to check their health. The results came out that they were both okay. And after that, <laughs> they enjoyed the goodies. <laughs> Millie tells you that it went so good. They both enjoyed so much. That was after five days of Ronald being in Kenya. What did I tell you guys? A right guy is gonna wait. Yes, no matter how long it takes, he's gonna wait for those goodies until you are ready. He will never pressure you. But if you see those ones who are in a hurry to take the goodies, then they are hiding something from you. Be very, very careful. So goodies lover, I think now you are happy. <laughs> 
so friends after spending some good times together in nairobi ronald wanted to go and see millie's parents that's how it went millie took him parents unfortunately doesn't have a father her father passed away some years back may his soul keep resting in peace amen so ronald found millie's mother and her siblings they all liked him very very much gave him a warm welcoming which surprised ronald but not in a negative way in a very positive way he was very happy and millie too was at peace was very happy that the siblings and the mother have liked her boyfriend <laughs> After the trip from seeing her siblings and the mother returned to Nairobi, then Ronald asked Millie, would you like to have your own apartment, your own place? Cause Millie before was living with her elder sister. So as during COVID period lost her job, it made her financially unstable, wasn't able to pay her rent and pay other bills so her sister came into her rescue and told her to start living with her she really thanks her sister very much thank you sister that's what family are for so because millie was living with her sister now ronald is asking her if she would love to have her own apartment millie was like yes i would like to have my own apartment and what they decided to start doing they started to look for nice apartments in terms of security water and electricity tells us in three days they managed to get a very decent nice apartment for her and she was super super happy immediately ronald paid for the rent paid for everything oh my god he is really a kind guy thank you ronald for being kind for being a good guy to our sister millie so millie moved in in that apartment with ronald because he was still in kenya but few days were remaining for him to return to holland so during those few days that were remaining started helping millie to do her paperwork had invited millie to holland cause wanted to do an official introduction <laughs> to his parents his siblings his friends though millie had talked to all of them to the cousins to the brothers to the sisters to the parents <laughs> but he was like i want to do it you know when you are there physically oh my god this is a good guy a good relationship a relationship that will lead to marriage it will keep on growing and we see met the parents then got her an apartment right now is inviting her to go see his other side of life his real life <laughs> that he lives in holland and introduce her to people that are so important to him so they did the paperwork and after three days then ronald had to leave go to holland while waiting millie to apply his visa to go to holland so yes guys millie applied for her visa but unfortunately i can say did not involve me much in her visa application so i didn't know a lot concerning that visa application another bad thing is that she was denied the visa to go to holland millie was very very down cried a lot told ronald ronald too was super angry and very sad because he spent lots of time preparing those documents so that the girlfriend can be granted the visa but they denied her the visa millie talked to me about her visa denial i was so sorry for her and also asked me for an advice wanted me to talk to ronald so i accepted i was like it's okay you can give him my whatsapp 
have number so that we can communicate on whatsapp but at first ronald checked me on instagram yeah i talked to him for a while and then sent my whatsapp numbers to millie and millie gave it to him that's when he contacted me on whatsapp i talked to him i advised him what he was asking me and all was good he was happy but i was more happier do you know why i was more happier because this guy had to put his face forward <laughs> most guys who are not serious if ronald was just playing games with millie trust me guys he could be like who is bella why should i talk to bella why do you involve people in our relationship why this why that and start you know being aggressive <laughs> but this guy contacting me showed me that he is really serious and he really wants to take things to the next level i also remember i know you are here watching <laughs> there is a story i wanted to share and all was good until the lady talked to the guy the guy was like no i don't want to be seen wait until i come brought lots lots of you know challenges and when i heard that i thought something fishy is going on <laughs> and what happened eventually the guy started acting weird started ghosting her and never showed up guys he never showed up but that answered my questions that i was asking myself in the head if this guy is real why can't he allow a lady to share their story because i was ready even not to show his face if he doesn't want to be seen but let us share the story <laughs> oh my god so be very careful guys even you that are in these relationships there are some things a guy will tell you if you don't think very careful you'll keep following what he tells you but it's a red flag so yes guys they were preparing to reapply for the visa Millie was still there very down but they kept on communicating you know the relationship has to keep on moving forward because these people are crazily in love and they're looking for the way you know <laughs> To solve that challenge that were presented to them by the embassy <laughs> yeah so guys yes the relationship continued and may this year 2023 Millie tells you that that day communicated with ronald and it was in the evening ronald told her the next day he might not be online because he's going to work at the border of Belgium. So if she sees him offline, she shouldn't get worried. So Millie was like, okay, and yes, guys, the next day, Ronald was offline. But you know what? <laughs> it was a surprise because Ronald did not go to the border. <laughs> to belgium no ronald was flying back to kenya <laughs> to meet the love of his life millie <laughs> so when he arrived it was a surprise guys millie was super super surprised didn't expect him to come was so happy and wrote to me was like well i won't believe ronald is here <laughs> He just surprised me. <laughs> you see, when there is love, a man can't resist you. <laughs> and that's why he had to fly and meet her again. Love is so beautiful, guys. And guys, Millie is telling me all this, giving me all these updates, but ends with Bella, keep me in your prayers. Let's keep on praying. And God is good, guys. So after ronald spending some few days in kenya another surprise <laughs> he surprised her with a proposal so dear friends about the surprise proposal how did it happen Millie tells us ronald told her that day to prepare and go for a romantic dinner date so she prepared very well looking so beautiful <laughs> and went on that dinner date they arrived ate 
all was good, lovey-dovey, holding hands, you know, kissing each other. Mili didn't have any idea of what was going to happen. So Ronald raised and went to the washroom. As he was there, I think on his way back, talked to the staff so the staffs knew and came with him somewhere clapping somewhere saying yes yes <laughs> he knelt down and popped the question Millie was very very happy said yes and cried tears of joy and I can feel her guys I tried to put myself in her shoes when you go through a lot and you see good things happening to you you cry tears of joy you try to you know recall all that happened to you all is just a history it is just a blessing from god congratulations to you girl once again tells you it was the best moment in her life the day that she will never forget adds by saying thank you honey ronald for changing my life to better i love you so much wow love is so beautiful she's such a blessed lady and he is a blessed guy so guys so the next plan millie is going to apply again for the visa and keep her in your prayers so that she can be granted a visa to go to holland meet his family get to see his life after that they're going to have their wedding in kenya i will keep updating you guys Either I will do a video, again a part two, or I will just update you on the community post <laughs> about Millie's wedding. So my message to Millie and to everyone out there that is in a relationship that is serious, maybe you guys are planning to get married, please keep being a good woman. Treat your man very well. Don't take him for granted. Please hold on to your relationship. If you're dating a guy, he is so good. He is treating you right. So guys, to so the question that I always get, especially to some people who don't want to watch the long video, when they click on a success story, they are like, Bella, tell us the name of the dating app. So thank you who watched this video till now. <laughs> the moment is now the name of the dating app where Millie found Ronald. Millie tells us she found the love of her life, the most kind man, the most handsome man, <laughs> the man that is everything to her <laughs> on a dating app called Kenyan Cupid. So to my Kenyan sisters, who have not tried Kenyan Cupid, please give it a try. We know exist lots of Cupids, so Millie found the love of her life on Kenyan Cupid. So if you wanted to know if Millie paid for that dating app, the answer is no. She did not pay for that dating app. It's Ron who paid for that dating app. Guys, you can find love for free. Just chat on a free version. If a guy is paying, you can communicate and eventually if he is the right guy you find love so dear beautiful ladies it will be unfair for me to end this video without giving you millie's advice because she is the lady that succeeded online it is good for us to hear what she has to advise you ladies that are still on online dating apps searching for love maybe using her tips and tricks it might help you find the one too. So her first advice to you guys is that prayers is the key to her success. Prayers did work for her. Cause tells you that remembers two months before meeting her fiance, prayed and fasted for the whole month, told God to connect her to the right man and it happened. So you can see how prayers work. I've been telling you, keep praying to God. It's going to happen. You will find the one. Her advice number two is patience. You have to be very patient. Tells you was on online dating apps for two years before finding her Dutch fiancé. Yes, it wasn't easy. She faced lots of challenges. I told you two challenges, but she faced more than those two challenges. 
never gave up. She was patient enough until she met the right person. So her advice number three, a very powerful advice also, <laughs> don't judge someone just by the outward appearances or looks before getting to know what's inside him or her. It's very, very important and gives you an example that when Ronald liked her profile, she went to his profile, his pictures were not all that appealing. Hazikuwa zinavuta macho, she wrote in Swahili. <laughs> you know those sexy photos of a guy? Ronald's photos were not like that. But Millie decided to give it a try by liking his profile back, by replying to his message. And tells us <laughs> what is more surprising is when they met in real life, physically, Ronald is tall, sexy, cute, handsome, generous, kind, and above all, believes in God. So he has got everything that Millie ever prayed for in a guy. Good is good. So you see, guys, we learned something here about the looks. So guys, after she gave her advice to every woman out there searching for love on online dating apps, also gave you some advice to you who are watching my channel, the videos that I share. I'm not going to talk a lot. I'll put all her advice here so that you can read it yourself. So dear friends, it has been a pleasure having you here watching this video. May God bless you. I really appreciate you all for your love, for your support. May God bless you. I don't take you for granted, guys. So if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it to your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. <laughs> Please watch my other videos too. They are super good. You're going to learn a lot. Subscribe please if you have not subscribed and click on that bell button so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. I love you so much guys. You're always here in my heart. Until next time. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.